things I love about this whole fitness thing is the idea that nobody can kind of shortcut it to some degree. You can't buy fitness. You can't uh, bribe your way to it. You can't, I, I know there's like steroids and drugs and everything like that, but these things, they only give you a boost. If you're still just kind of sitting on the couch all the time and uh, with a very poor diet and exercise program, you're still not gonna get very far, no matter what your genetics are or what drugs you're taking and stuff like that. Um, so in our society these days, ever since I was a little kid, I've always believed that certain products out there uh, should be something you have to earn the right to accumulate. When I worked at the bike shops, we used to sell really high-end racing bikes, and there was someone who came in one time, a couple, and they bought a couple just top-of-the-line dream racing road bikes. And uh, saw them a couple weeks later, I'm like, how are you liking your bikes? Are you going out for rides? And they're like, yeah, we like rode a couple of miles, and you know, we got them up in the rafters. We might ride them a couple weeks from now. And of course, all the guys in the bike shop are like, yeah. it's like, why do you have that? You shouldn't have that. Of course, you have a right to and everything, but it's, it, it feels like the person who can barely drive shouldn't own a Ferrari. The person who can, can't even, doesn't even have the hand-eye coordination to use chopsticks shouldn't have the collection of samurai swords or whatever just because they have the money to. I've always kind of believed, like, if you're going to have something that has some prestige to it, you should prove that you are skilled and responsible to use these things. And you should continuously have to prove it. And they do that with some cars. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I think McLaren, when they came out with the F1, they had a modem in it. And if you were not driving the car hard and fast on a regular basis, they would take the car away. Because they'd be like, no, that's not what we built this car for. You're not the kind of person we want this car. We want it with someone who's going to actually drive it as, it as it's intended, not to the church every Sunday. I love that idea, but that's what we have with fitness. If you're not doing what it actually takes to have the strength or the power or the speed or whatever fitness goals you have, you don't get it. Doesn't matter what kind of money you have, doesn't matter what kind of time you have, doesn't matter even what desire you have. If you're not doing what it takes, you don't have it. And if you stop doing what it takes, you lose it. I love that. You have to earn it and you have to constantly earn it and prove that you are worthy of those products. I know that is gonna rub some people the wrong way. In our society, we should all get everything we want. We should get it quickly, easily, cheaply, and fast, right? No, it takes away from the prestige. That's why a fit body is always probably gonna be one of the most prestigious uh, status symbols within our society is because you have to earn it and you have to constantly earn it. Even if you've got good genetics or you're on drugs, you still have to do at least some work continuously to stay at that level. So that's why I think having a fit body truly is the ultimate status symbol. I could just buy a Ferrari, all I need is the money. But if I had to prove myself and prove my worth of that car continuously, that Ferrari would have a lot more status to it. Your thoughts down below. Till then, be fit, live free.